to ancientherbalcare.com for all your skincare needs. That's ancientherbalcare.com. Link is at the top line of the description. All right, man. I swear it seems like trouble follows Boosie wherever he goes. Now, Boosie pretty much dropped a video on his Instagram earlier, letting everyone know that he has been dropped from the Legends of the Street concert. This is following a melee that broke out in Atlanta. We reported yesterday that, you know, venues in Baltimore, you know, and other venues in Greensboro, North Carolina, pretty much did not want Boosie to perform because they're saying, pretty much, you know, saying that he's attracting violence wherever he goes now boosie actually posted up he said look i'm not going to be in baltimore you know what i mean at the event but i will be at the after party and that's where things turn crazy last night there was another shooting that went down at boosie's after party in baltimore now according to the baltimore sun the incident took place in the wee hours of monday morning october the 4th which is today you know, at the Euphoria nightclub during Championship Sunday's party with the Baton Rouge rapper. Now, law enforcement is pretty much saying that gunshots erupted around 1.38 a.m. following a large fight outside of the club. Now, police patrolling the area said they heard gunshots and quickly discovered a vehicle with several bullet holes and a scattered window. Now, a 27-year-old man was checked into a nearby hospital with several gunshot wounds. Now, the shooting victim is currently in critical condition after being struck in the head and upper body. Bad situation. Now, now, again, we talked about Boosie being under investigation by the Atlanta PD. Not for nothing serious, but for vandalism and some petty charges because of the melee that broke out in Atlanta. Now, this looks bad. It looks very, very bad bad but there's no indication that boosie himself or his crew was involved in it it just looks crazy as i don't know what to see situations like this that continue that continue to happen for boosie he probably maybe didn't have nothing to do with it but his name is attached to it he's at the nightclub things pop off now we all know baltimore you know love baltimore love the people of maryland and all that definitely got family out there love them to death but they out there blazing just like baton rouge just like anywhere else they out there blazing and it could have been something that had nothing to do with boost it could have been somebody stepping somebody's shoes it could have been somebody had beef with somebody they seen him there anything could have happened but since boosie's name since he was there it looks like he was involved in a situation when we don't really know if he was involved in a particular situation. So this is a bad look. Any way you want to look at it, you know, um, we just was talking about this. You know, we just was talking about that once, you know, promoters and nightclubs and stuff start to see that somebody could be a liability or something may go down. They want to say, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this one. Just the way he got kicked off the Legends Tour. Yeah, Rick Ross, all these different people on there that I was even vouching for. And they said, nah, we don't want this dude in our venue because of stuff just like this. And I think it's unfair to blame it on Boosie. But one has to say, like, dog, where's the karma? Like, what's going on? Everywhere you go, some stuff is popping off. Something's breaking down. Even if he ain't had nothing to do with it directly, this is how the promoters and the people that run these venues they don't want bodies. They don't want fights. They don't want because that all that stuff comes back on them. People suing the venues and people getting hurt. When you're in a city doing a vest, the mayor, different people, they don't want people to get hurt. They don't want bodies dropping because then it gives hip hop and everything else a bad eye. But crazy situation, crazy situation. 27 year old man hit in critical condition out in Baltimore after shots rang out. You know, and a man was hit in the head and upper body at Boosie's after party. It, it either, either, either he's being set up to look bad, or a whole bunch of things. Now, one thing we gotta understand is the element: people drinking, people smoking. It's a whole bunch of people in the area in the inner city, so it kind of almost breeds. It breeds, and it not, it's not because it's hip hop. You got high school, people at high school is getting it in. You know, all types of rock concerts. I'm not trying to put a bad stain on hip-hop, but I'm just telling you how it's going to be perceived. 
with hip hop already having a black eye, it's not going to be received good by different people that run these different venues and these promoters and stuff like that. So hopefully, you know, Boosie can overcome this once again and be able to move forward and do what he does. But I couldn't believe it when I seen this. I just couldn't believe it when I seen that another incident happened out in Baltimore with Boosie. Like, what, what, like you got to think to yourself, like, dang, like, dog, you from Louisiana. Like, what the hell is going on? But again. It's the element. It's the people that's coming out. Boosie may may not have had anything to do with it. He could have been chilling, but it just looks bad. So I'm going to digress on this. This is your brother, Ogai Man Hip Hop News Uncensored with another exclusive. Make sure you guys share the video, like the video, and if you like content like this, make sure you guys subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more content just like this one. Fire away them comments below. What do you think about Boosie? Is he, car is he bad karma? Does violence attract him? What do you guys think? I want to hear the audience. I want to hear what you guys got to say about this. Definitely, I've been reading comments all night. With that being said, I got to go. I'm going to digress, man. I appreciate you guys. And uh, fire away them comments. Smash the like button. And make sure you guys subscribe to Hip Hop News and Center for more exclusives like this. And your boy, Ogot, over now. Peace.